you know, going through college athletics to coaching, now going into media, um, what has been your biggest lesson that you've learned through all of this time, you know, to the point where you are today? Um, what do you think has been the biggest lesson that you've learned in this journey? Yeah, um, there's a lot of them. I mean, I think that kind of what I just said about the whole you can't change the cards you're dealt, it's how you play the hand. I've learned in my life and, and seen it now consistently that when some of the worst things have happened to me and I thought the worst things were happening, um, you know, when I got hurt, when I got fired, I got fired from coaching at Arizona State um, two and a half years ago before I got into media, um, when I got hurt in high school, some, a lot of times the best things happened right after that. Um, and it felt like a really dark time and then opportunity came right after uh, and if and if those dark things wouldn't have happened, I would, that those positive things would have never happened. So I think that's one of them. Um, I think when I look back at myself, even when I was in this classroom in the Smeal Business College ten years ago or eight years, whatever it was, um, ten years ago, wow, um, <laughs> is that like I remember always caring so much about what other people thought about me. Like all, I, I remember like constantly thinking about social media, um, about what my teammates thought of me, what fans thought of me more than anything. Like, what, what's the newspaper going to write about? What, what are they going to say about me when I'm at practice today? Uh, constantly thinking about what other people said about me. Um, and, I, and I listened to the noise when it was really positive, right? So, like, when, when I was a five-star recruit and everyone told you how good you are, I thought I was really, really cool and really, really good. I, I used to hang the newspaper clippings in my bedroom um, of, of, of my career. And then the problem is when you listen to it when it's really, really good, then you also listen when it's really bad. And when things flip, flip on its head and people start writing bad articles about you and it's negative. Um, and I've learned through that whole time to like, you just gotta not listen to any of it um, and not listen to the praise because they don't really know what's going on and not listen to the negative people because they don't really know what's going on. And at the end of the day, no one is really thinking about you as much as you think they are. Um, like when I got started in social media, I started, I remember like thinking about how much are people going to like this post? Are people going to, am I posting too much? Am I posting not enough? Do I look good in this, in this cover photo on Instagram? What's my feed look like? At the end of the day, I learned really quickly that no one, everyone's busy thinking about themselves and they're not actually thinking about you at all. Uh, or if they do think about you, they think about you for two seconds and go right back to thinking about themselves and their own life and their own problems. So when you realize that, it's really free. It's liberating. It allows you to be who you are do what makes you happy, go after what you want, and not listen to what anybody says about you. And when I learned that is when success started coming in my life. It, it was I didn't care what I didn't care about everything because I didn't, I didn't care what anyone thought. And it wasn't because I don't, don't like people, but I knew that they didn't have the perspective I have, that, and they really weren't thinking about me at the end of the day. So those are the main things I've learned in the last few years that have allowed me to kind of be at the place I am now, still have a lot to learn, and still struggle with that all the time of, of caring what people think and caring and reading the, you know, reading the positive press clippings. And when you raise money for a venture capital from a venture capital firm for your company, not allowing all the people to pat you on the back and tell you how great you are, then you got to keep going, mm -hmm. just keep going. I think that's a great point, especially like for young professionals, like all of us in the room, you know, getting over that hump of yeah. not caring about what people think about you. I think that's like, Honestly, same still for me, like the biggest hump to get over mm -hmm. to just, you know, excelling even higher. So I think that's a really great point. 